Problem 13 says explain how Boyle's Law, Charles' Law, and Avogadro's Law are special cases of the ideal gas law. So these three laws form the foundation for the United Ideal Gas Law, which I'll write here. Boyle's law first showed that the pressure and volume of a gas here on the left are inversely related and together are constant for a given gas at a given temperature and number of moles of gas. So this graph here shows one over pressure on the y-axis and volume on the, or sorry, uh, one over p on the x-axis, volume on the y-axis. So this one over p um, is the inverse of pressure, which means if you looked at the pressure um, by itself, you would see a relationship like this. And so what that means is that uh, pressure is inversely related to volume such that um, as the pressure goes down, um, because you know as the pressure gets smaller, uh, this one over p-value becomes larger, um, the volume increases. So as pressure decreases, volume increases, which is in line with what we see in our ideal gas equation. Charles' law additionally defined, uh, defined how the volume of a gas changes linearly with temperature at some constant for each gas. So that's shown here, temperature on the x-axis, volume on the y-axis, and as temperature increases, so does the volume of the gas. Interestingly, in his equation, um, you can also see that temperature cannot reach or certainly fall below uh, zero Kelvin because, um, as you can see, the volume of a gas can't be lower than zero, of course. So that sort of helps define the, the absolute zero idea. Finally, Avogadro's law says that if all other properties of the gas are equal, for instance, the pressure, the volume, and the temperature, that if two samples of gas um, exist under those same conditions, that they would have the exact same um, number of particles. Um, it also says that um, the volume of a gas is related to a proportionality constant um, multiplied by the number of particles of gas. So for instance, if you blow up a balloon, you're adding more um, helium particles to the balloon and the volume increases. So together these are special because they make up the basis for the ideal gas law equation and together their ideas help form um, how we now think about gases.